I have the sixth word tonight. And it is found in John, the 19th chapter, and the 30th verse. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the spirit. This was a cry, not of agony, but a cry of victory. This is the briefest of all the seven words, but at the same time, it is the fullest. It's the word to tell us tie. It means that it is done. It's completed. It's been fully and absolutely accomplished. The great purpose of God in dealing with mankind had been completed. The mission for which God sent his son had been accomplished. Y'all, Jesus had a job and knew it. He presented his resume to God in John 17, why he came and what he did, and he has finished his job. Divine holiness has been satisfied. This word was used by bond servants that when they were given a task by their master, when they finished, they used this word, finished to tell us die. It describes, and Jesus describes himself in the role of a servant. He said, I didn't come to be served, but I came to serve. He describes himself as this. Paul says he took on the form of a bond servant. He was a perfect servant, and when he finished the job, he looked to the Father and said, to tell us die. It is finished. It's done. The work has been totally completed. It was also a word used by merchants. Now, I got a little stamp that when I pay my bills, I stamp on it and said paid. But I don't have a stamp that says paid in full. And Jesus' stamp said paid in full. There is nothing lacking. There's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to be completed. It has been paid in full. Well, what is it? What's finished? What's done? What has been completed? What's been accomplished? Well, first of all, all the prophecies and all the promises concerning Jesus as Messiah has been completed. I like it in verse 28 where it says, all things now being accomplished. Even in the midst of the pain, even in the midst of the agony, he remembered every prophecy. He remembered every promise. He crossed every T. He dotted every I and ensured that it would all be completed. Nothing, no word was undone. Nothing was left lacking. Everything that he came to do, he did. And he said, it's finished. You ever look at the clock at work and want to be done? (laughs) Were you ever in school counting the hours? You you just want this to be done. Get get it done. When I was in the hospital and they said you had to go on a procedure, is it done? Is it done? Well, Jesus says in so many words, it's finished. From Genesis to Revelation. Everything God said, everything that God proposed, every prophecy that every prophet ever prophesied was completed and done concerning this job. And he was able to say, it is finished. But you know what I'm glad about? It also means that the judgment on sin has been completed. Because of our sin, a price had to be paid. You know, they say, sooner or later, you're going to pay. You can pay me now, or you can pay me later. If you dance to the music, you got to pay the piper. You know, I had a mechanic say that. You can pay me now, (laughs) you can pay me later, but you're going to pay. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Our transgressions and our iniquities was laid upon 
him. He paid the full price for our sins. Christ bore our sins in his body, Brother Peter says. He bore it. My sins, your sins, every sin that's happened in the past, every sin that will happen in the future was laid upon him. And he heard that over and over, the wages of sin is death. The wages is sin is death. And somebody had to die. And he paid it complete and totally in full. Jesus had a job and he did it. But thirdly and finally, the forgiveness of sin is made available through the shedding of the blood. I love the dance. Where's the young lady that, that danced? It was just amazing. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Well, apart from the, there is no remission of sins apart from the shedding of blood. The work of salvation, the work of forgiveness is fulfilled. And all things had been done. It is, come on, finished. Do you believe that? But some folk don't get it. They always got to add a little something to it. If I could just do a little better, if I could just get rid of this, if I could get rid of that. H have you ever saw somebody cooking some soup and then they just kept adding stuff and, and it, it was done. It was ready to be served, but they just added something until they messed it up. And that's what we do to the grace of God when we worry and we rag at our minds and, and we, we are trying and struggling to do what we cannot do. That's the gospel of grace. Jesus said there's nothing else to do but to embrace what I have finished. It is finished. To tell us time. It's done. It's complete. That's why we can sing that song. And sister, you danced that thing tonight. But I love that song. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. The blood came streaming down. The blood came streaming down. I know it was the blood for me. It is finished. T tell somebody it's done. There's nothing else to do. It is finished.